time for MMA Heat. I'm here with Quentin Rampage Jackson. And uh, it's just a couple days after your fight with Glover Teixeira. And, um, you know, I really wanted to come talk to you today because most people were really peeved that you didn't get a post-fight interview. And they knew that you would probably have a lot to say since this is likely your last fight in the UFC. Yeah. So how did, how did you feel about the fact that you didn't get the, the interview? Let's talk about that first. Well, you know, I'm not surprised I didn't get the um, post-fight interview. And um, um, the UFC asked me to do a lot less press for this mm -hmm. fight and stuff like that, which was which, normally is cool. But, you know, I did want to tell the, um, the fans a message after my fight. Uh, you know, I was kind of disappointed in, in how the fight went. But at the same time, I was um, very um, I was very proud of uh, Glover because he fought a real smart fight. And you can't take nothing away from that fight. Uh, it, was a, it was a very exciting fight. And he did what he had to do to win. So I still, even though I was disappointed in myself, I still wanted to give the um, you know saying UFC fans like a farewell and and let them know you know saying that um, you know I'm gonna miss you know saying my fans in the UFC and 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 that uh, I was gonna um, come back strong and you know you know that fight really opened up um, opened up my eyes a little bit I I know now it's hard for me to say it before but I'm I'm uh, more one dimensional now because once you get to taking boxing and get to loving boxing the way I do it and you're a wrestler you think like oh this guy can't take me down and. Yeah. I can box him and stuff like that, and, and, and Glover opened up my eyes and made me um, see that man, I need to stop being so one-dimensional. And I was going to give the fans like a big, big message, but they never sent Joe into the ring in the cage. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's definitely why we're here. And you brought up a couple things already, but but I mean, certainly you're loved, and I, nobody wants to see you go. I mean, it's it's a, it's a double-edged sword because we want to see you happy because a happy Quentin is is a lot of fun, you yeah. know. And so we want to see you happy. Well, we want to find a way for you to be happy in the UFC where we get to see you fighting the best guys in the world and, and, and doing your thing on a very big stage. I, I think that's an oxymoron with me, being happy in the UFC. Like, yeah. you guys have no idea about how um, strong negative energy is and how much it can take over you. Like, uh, even my training camp, my manager tells me stuff. Uh, but when you talk about the UFC, I just get this negative feeling and I just started, like, cussing and saying stuff I shouldn't cuss and then it messed up my whole day of training mm -hmm. when like the, uh, uh, my manager tells me something like the UFC wants you to do this I said this something like that and it's just it's so bad like I just want to I just want to fight like I used to fight back in back um, back in the day when I was fighting in pride I just I, I was younger and and, and it's like uh, I didn't care about a whole lot it was I didn't care about the business part. I just wanted to go out there and have fun. I wanted to put on great shows for the fans. I wanted to go and slam the fighters for the fans. That's all I cared about. I wanted to try to knock people out for the fans. But now, you know what I'm saying, I gotta wear I, I gotta worry about what sponsors I can't wear in the in the cage or or you know what I'm saying, I gotta be careful um what what not to say about the uh the UFC or Dana White's gonna get mad at me or this and that. You gotta worry about so much stuff and I'm like, you know, I, I didn't sign up for all that. Yeah. Well, I will say this. I was with uh, some UFC media people yesterday, and they told me that you were wonderful this last week in Chicago. And they, they, they said you were great. You did everything you asked, you know, they asked of you, and, and they really appreciated that. So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, just, just so you know that, just so, just so you know that. But... When did it start to get bad for you? Because it seemed like, I mean, you know, when people talk about well, you've made $15 million and, you know, I know for you it's not about the, the, the money like that, you know. But, a couple but, things. I don't believe that I made $15 million. And I don't believe I made $15 million. I, I did pretty good. Yeah. But I just don't believe I made $15 million in six years. And it, it's not all about the money. It's like um, uh, it started getting bad after I did the 18 movie. Mm -hmm. And, you know. I, I can understand, like, they could be upset with me because I chose to do the movie instead of the fight with Richard in yeah. Memphis. Yeah. So I, I cost them a lot of money and stuff like that. But I've made them so much money. If, if they think they, that, um, that, if they think that I paid, I made $15 million in six years, think about how much money I've made them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, and I think that is, that is a concern other people have had too, is, is about the sharing of the wealth, maybe, is, mm. is one thing that, that people have had issues with. But I mean, is that what you, people also wonder? Okay, well, now that when he made the movies, you know, Quentin started to see the other other opportunities, and that maybe you were less focused. Do you feel no. that that's any any validity to that? No, that's 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 not true at all. Like um, when I um, when I made the movie, uh, the eighteen movie, I was 
I was gone for five months from yeah. fighting. I did the movie. I shot like 13, 14 hour days sometimes. And I couldn't train. I had like makeup on, on my eye and you know, wigs on. Just, yeah. I couldn't train. I, I brought a trainer to train me and stuff like that. Yeah. But I couldn't train. You take five months off from any any, any type of sport and you come back and you try to, um, like when I came back and I tried to fight Rashad, mm -hmm. my body wasn't the same. I gained a lot of weight and, yeah. and, my, and my knees, when I you go back and watch the fight, Rashad was punching me in my knees because he knew my knee was injured. And so, and, but I still came and I tried to fight. I should have pulled out of that fight yeah. and I tried to fight him because I felt bad because I, I didn't do the fight in Memphis. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm a man. Even though with an injured knee, I still came and fought with Rashad. My body was all messed up because I took five months off from training yeah. and to go and fight in professional fights. So, like, fans and people that don't fight, they don't know that. They just, all they see is the end result, you in the cage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it looked like I was unfocused. I was very focused. I had a really tough uh, training camp. I was doing good in training camp, yeah. even though I was overweight and out of shape. I was wrestling hard. I did good until I blew my knee out. And then after that, you know, so I come back and I, you know, win one, lose one, mm -hmm. win one, lose one. And you know what I'm saying? Your body just takes a lot of, um, a lot of um, trauma. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you just, you, you playing catch up. Yeah. You know, you get injured and, you know what I'm saying, trying to heal up and, and you just come back. And my knee was getting worse and worse and worse until I, until I um, needed surgery. Mm -hmm. And I still fought Ryan Bader even though I needed right. surgery. So, you know, and just all this negative stuff going around and stuff like that. So I, I finally got surgery. This is my first fight back since I had surgery and stuff like that, and I, and I, and I felt great. Even though sometimes in, in camp, you know, it bothered me. I had different injuries, and everybody knew I pulled out of my last fight because of my uh, elbow injuries and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, I don't think that has nothing to do with me doing movies, been unfocused. It's just like, my body has been in a lot of wars, and, and sometimes you get hurt. And you know, saying like this last camp, you know, saying I I got hurt and stuff like that. But I did the right things. I I healed myself up. Uh, you know, I was in really good shape. Mm -hmm. And just sometimes I just couldn't train because right. my body. And they can say like, oh, because he's not unfocused. Oh, because of this. Is that no? It's because I'm a professional athlete that gets injured. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's 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 not an excuse. It's it's it's, it's nothing to do with movies. People want to. I think people just want to hate and say because I did a movie, I'm not concentrating. I'm not focused on fighting. Uh, you know, it, it, it you know what I'm saying burns my draws. Yeah. That people say stuff like that. Like yeah. like other fighters should know that they should know. Like man, it's probably because he get hurt because he go hard in training. Yeah. Like even though I hate training stuff like that, I go hard in training. And sometimes, you know, you get hurt when you've been. in been in as many wars as I've been in, you know, sometimes your body just, if I, I can, I can name off all my, my injuries right now, but then I think I'm giving my uh, opponents like ammunition. So. <laughs> I was just going to say, well, and I know that you are critical of the, of the kind of kicks that John Jones got you with. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I, I agree. Those, those always make me wince. They don't, they, they, they kind, they kind of really make me very scared when I see see those kind of kicks happening. And I remember you were saying that's just kind of that's why in that fight you just finally sort of like, well, is it my, do I lose my knee or do I lose a fight, basically, right? right? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, I think that I think I thought I always thought that 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 that, um, that maneuver w w was illegal for mm -hmm. one. I, I never knew you could you could do that. But I, I was thinking like, if even if I could do it, why would you do that? Yeah. And I, I felt bad for. Um, for Vitor Belfort, when I saw when I saw him getting kicked mm -hmm. like that, because he took the fight on short notice, and I know how it, I know how it felt. Yeah. But you know he looked great in his last fight. I don't yeah, think yeah, it, yeah. I don't think it bothered him. But it, you know, what I'm saying um, John Jones really did mess up my knee pretty bad. Now it's getting stronger and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it's it's taking it's taking that long. You know, what I'm saying uh, for it to, for it to get stronger, I have doctors like looking at it, and, yeah. that, and thank God I didn't get surgery on it because I would have been out for even longer. But yeah, it's like you, you know, what I'm saying you fighting guys who's kicking your knee backwards and stuff like that and, really, and yeah and, really upsetting to me and you got to train like that and sometimes sometimes it messes you up and you got to yeah. you got to sit out for a couple of days and you got to prepare for this big right, fight right. and people think like oh um he's he's looking like this because he's unfocused like sometimes my knees are bad i can't do a bunch of wrestling like i mm -hmm. want to sometimes i can't do that's why i wanted to go into boxing right, right. sometimes your knees just won't let you get you know wrestling you know you need a lot of your knees right sometimes you don't want to kick as much and sometimes you don't want to uh do this because you got injuries and stuff but but people just don't I'm saying they think, oh, he's unfocused because he did a movie a long time ago <laughs> did a movie that i don't forgot i even did right so you said though that Glover made you come to, come come to terms with some things and be honest about about what you have and what 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 style you have and what 
where people have improved past you, I guess, is really what's going on now. The, the sport has evolved. But so, so moving forward, then, are you looking to, I know you say you want to do, you know, more boxing and straight boxing. So is that really what you think is next? Or be, you know, because people say your name and Bellator now, and, you know, people are talking about all this stuff. Where, where do you go? There's been, um, you know, I, I, some, on the part of the UFC, them saying, we're not sure what's going on yet. I mean, so that it's not like they've closed the door on you. I've closed the door on them. Yeah. Like, uh, like I said, like the UFC had to do a lot of things for me to even consider coming back. Yeah. That, that, is that bothering you? No, we're good on that. Uh, the UFC had to do a lot of things to, for me even to consider coming back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with money. So Danny can chuck out there how much money he made me and how many cars he, 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 he gave me all this stuff like to get the fans because uh, Dana plays up to the fans. He knows that the fans are fanboys and a lot of people were fighting the UFC for free. They were like, oh, you making all this money. Why are you complaining? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you think about it, like, I work harder than, than, than boxers a lot of times. The boxers, they don't even knock people out. They don't even get taken and they making 40 and 50 million per yeah. fight and stuff like that. Why? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, sometimes I'm, uh, uh, I feel like, yeah, I, I get paid pretty good for what I do, but it's, but is it, uh, is it relevant to what this next guy doing over here and, yeah. and, and, you know what I'm saying, we put on way more excitement than this guy and we making, the, um, the UFC making just as much money as, 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 as the, um, promoter, the boxer promoter and how can they get a bigger share of, of, of the pie, you know what I'm saying? I, I put my life on the line just like this fighter. Right. But what about, but, but you know that the flip side of that is, and people who don't believe in you will say, well, Rampage, you know, you lost some fights and, you know, you're not the guy you used to be and so what, you know. Well, I, I would say to them, like. So what? I lost fights, but you know what I'm saying? I still go out there, still train hard, and I still make the fights exciting. I still mm -hmm. did my job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like, a, um, you know what I'm saying? Say, say for instance, like, a, um, say one of those security guards that, that carry, that carry the, um, the um, money from, from, from banks to banks from place to place. If he goes and, you know what I'm saying, and, and does his job, and sometimes they might get robbed. Or, right, or right. Doesn't you know, mean so, he didn't do his job. He doesn't mean he did his job. He got, he got robbed. He, right. he, the money didn't get to where he played. He still did his job. Do they not pay him his money? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, does he not? You know, I'm still putting on exciting fights. You know what I'm saying? Right. So once you lose, like, you can't go and win every fight. That's a promoter way of, of making you uh, lose, lose value. Like, well, man, you lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to pay, but I'm like, I understand that, you know, you lose fights and stuff like that and everything, but if I'm still, you know what I'm saying, putting butts in seats and stuff like that, uh, you know what I'm saying, still pay me, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, I don't need, I don't need a, a raise if I'm, if I'm not winning a whole bunch of fights, I'm not asking for a raise, but, you know what I'm saying, like, don't, don't, you know what I'm saying, like, make my pay go go down tremendously but it's not all about the pay it's like the treat, treat that, me right well that's what i was going to ask the things that you want are they things that can be expressed in a contract do you know what i mean or is it stuff that's off the paper and just about the people yeah it's probably there's a lot of stuff that could be expressed in, in a contract and stuff yeah. like that for for instance like you know say my, my reebok deal like mm -hmm. it was very unfair that they won't let me um, wear a Reebok on my shorts and and or but don't bed. people have to buy in to a U UFC sponsorship, right? I don't not I, just the just the individuals. I, I don't understand that they didn't even give Reebok that that chance. Reebok wanted to buy footage of me fighting mm -hmm. and to do to put in their commercial. They wouldn't even sell it to them. That's money for them right there. They wanted to buy footage of me knocking out people, you know, mm -hmm. snap, and, and and they wanted to, you know do it, and they 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 didn't even. Given a chance, you, uh, Reebok probably would have bought in, but but they didn't they didn't offer that to Reebok because Reebok knows how true sponsorship and endorsements and stuff yeah. work. That's that's not right. Like we're independent contractors, that's not right. I don't know I don't know how that that got so popular in the UFC. You got to yeah. buy in, like so I don't understand. I, I see a couple of fighters sponsored by Nike. I'm sure Nike didn't buy into right. to anything, but it, you know there's a couple other things that that that, that, that they've done. That they've done to me and that I, I don't I didn't see right and stuff like that. I just want I just want to leave and um, and just go and fight somewhere and be positive because you can tell I'm not about the money because yeah I could probably make the most money in the UFC yeah but I, I just rather be treated I rather be treated right. It's not always about the money and so so what if I if I if I lost a few few times I think if I get my head right and I go or go away and I go back to training and I and I'm, and I transform back into a, a full mixed martial artist like I used to be. Mm -hmm and be a more unpredictable. I can come back and um, be a, a very exciting fighter again and go to another organization and help build them up. 
yeah. for my last couple of years I got in this sport. And 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 whoever lets me fight for them, I would like to have like a, um, a non-exclusive contract so I can go and do boxing sometimes I want to or right. go do kickboxing. I just want to I just want to be free my last couple of fights to do what I want. And uh, if a if a movie come up, I'm not contracted to, to fight. And I can go and do a movie. I, I won't do nothing big because mm -hmm. I don't want to do a five month shoot. Yeah, right. but, but if like a big movie come up, like a Marvel movie, like oh, and something like that, then I want to. Oh yeah, something big. I want to be able to say, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I want to go do that because you know everybody know I like Luke Cage. I've been wanting right. to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've been want to play Luke Cage so bad. Oh, if, cool. Yeah, if that, if that come up, I can I can I can like okay. This is a big movie role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be in a contract and, and fall out of the UFC again right, because I got to right. fight. Because movies and fight, like, just my luck, I was supposed to be in a lot of movies. Right. And it just. And the timing is. Just timing. And the UFC, uh, I mean, the, uh, the A team is the only one I took. Yeah. And a lot of stuff, I always turned it down. I always turned it well, down. Well, you were great at that. Yeah, I, I, I was, you know. <laughs> and it's on cable a lot, too. We yeah. always have to, you always have to watch it when Yeah, it and I just get to be a big kid, and people yeah. don't understand, like, I turned down so many movies because, like, yeah. oh, I got to fight, I got to fight. And your agents get mad at you, like, yeah, right now. because they're trying to work for you. Yeah. And they, so you got something lined up now? Did you know Fox ran that after the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah, actually, I heard the other night it was on. Right? I heard that, right. and, 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 and I heard they ran it in Japan right yeah, after yeah, the show. Yeah. All, all over, yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird, like, it's. You know, it's like, look at them. Well, you bring up a few things, and I want, but I, and I want to get to a few. But there were some good times, right? I mean, it's not, it wasn't all bad. It was some good times. It was some good times. But like I said, before I did the AT movie, <laughs> yeah, okay. like Dana and I bumped heads. Everybody yeah. knew it was public. Before I did, it, it was some good times. Dana was really cool. I remember yeah. when I first came to the UFC, he took me shopping and brought me a bunch of money suits and everything. Nice, nice, nice. It was cool. I remember um, after the fight with Chuck, you know, he gave me a big bonus. Like, my bonus was bigger than my purse. Like, then I was like, nice. wow, you know. Nice. And I was like, wow, you're doing good. That's the last bonus that I got. Because I was knocked out of the night. And, right. And, and fight it at night and stuff like that. Now I'm like, oh, okay, it's yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, fighters, we love bonuses. Like, yeah, come on, what, what fighter wouldn't love bonuses? But honestly, I just feel like me and the rest of the, in my opinion, this is yeah. all my opinion, I just feel like me and the rest of the UFC fighters are getting taken advantage of. Like, I feel like the UFC is cleaning the house. Like, they, the pay-per-view, um, dollars, like, they tell me one number, but then they tell the press one number. Mm -hmm. Pay me the numbers that you tell the press. Don't tell, don't tell me, oh, you only made this, you, we only sold this many. And you tell the press, oh, we yeah. sold this many. Yeah. I'm like, then, then I'm like, hey, but you only told me that we only sold 800,000 buys, but you told the press right. you sold like a million of buys. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, like, oh, but we just said that for the press. I'm like, no, 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 just give me, pay me like what you told the press then. Because yeah. you lying somewhere. You either lying to me or you lying to the press about the pay per view right. numbers. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, if they're doing it to me, I'm sure they're doing it to, to other fighters because, you know what I'm saying? We put in the work. I'm the one who gets, I'm the one who uh, that trains every day with hurt. Something hurts yeah. every day. You go out there and you got to do wrestling, you, your ankle messed up, your ankle dislocated, your knee hurt, something like that. And I still got to train for those two hours in that wrestling that day and then, then come back later on that day and do something else with, with a messed up elbow, yeah. messed up neck or something. I'm the one who put myself through this all this pain, be away from my family, then go out there in front of millions of people and risk getting my ass kicked and a little bit of ass shorts. <laughs> I'm the one that's doing that. Right. And and to then to get then to after the fight to feel like, am I getting ripped off? Because he told me he's I only, only sold this many. When, and when I know we promoted and we did good, and me and Rashad, like when me and Rashad did Ultimate Fighter, yeah. it broke records. It broke all different type of records on Ultimate Fighter and stuff like that. Then when the pay per view came, it it didn't break. It it, it didn't do well. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's not what the press. That's not what you told the press. And I was like, hmm. So I started watching them, watching them, doing the stuff. After a while, I just I just couldn't take no more. I just yeah. I just can't take it. Like I'd rather fight for another organization. Make less money and make honest money. Know that they're not cheating me out of money. But if you do keep fighting, where would you go to reinvent yourself? If you're talking about adding, you know, bring, bringing these new elements in or going oh. back to where you used to be, what can you do that with the people you're currently with? Do you need yeah. to go somewhere else and get no. some new looks? Do you need to, no. you know, mix it up? No, it just, it's just it's up to me. Like a lot. Okay, I do have a lot of injuries, and a lot of yeah. times in camp, I just like. It's like me, like I train hard, but then it's like, man, I don't want to have to wrestle. I don't want to wrestle. But like, what I can do is just come into camp a little bit lighter. Yeah. 
and because when I'm a little bit heavier, my knees hurt more right, and stuff right. like that. I just, it just is, it's all me. I can come to camp a little bit lighter and do more, more, um, right? So like, if you notice this fight, I fought glove, he's really good on the ground. Mm. So I did a lot more jujitsu, a lot more mm. getting up. Like normally yeah, I'd be on yeah, my back. Yeah, yeah, right. So I did that aspect of it. I right. did that, but I did, I did wrestling too. But you know what I'm saying? Like Glover did not fight not nothing like his videos. I know. Well, that's what I was going to tell he, you because he nothing like I his saw I mean, we were with him I, and, uh, the other day, you know, at Black House, and I saw what he was doing, and you know, I heard, I knew what you were saying, and yeah. I was like, I think Glover's going to stand there and try to punch the crap out of you personally. Yeah. But it was a very exciting fight, and I think that that was something that I was really pleased about is that it felt like, to me anyway, you got to go out on the fight. The way you want it, like yeah. other than winning it, it was the kind of fight you want. Yeah, listen, right? listen. I, I tell the fans all the time. I rather lose an exciting fight yeah. than win a boring fight. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not complaining about that. I'm just saying, like, I I was surprised that Glover took me down because yeah. I've trained. Uh, we trained a lot of wrestling, and we we trained that he normally would take you to the cage and try yeah, to take yeah, you down. Yeah. But he took me down with a single leg in the middle of the cage. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do the single leg correctly. Yeah. And so I'm a wrestler, right? And so I'm going to be trained for when a wrestler do a single leg on me, they have the head on the inside. Right, 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 You know how to defend that. But when okay. they do it, when they do a move wrong, you don't know how to defend <laughs> it. So it, was, it was genius. Right. And I'm and, I, and I, when I watched the fight, I looked back. I was like, wow. And I was in the best shape of my life. Yeah. But but Glover is so heavy and stuff on top. Mm -hmm. When I got him off me the first time, I know that going up and down. I know I got a little winded and stuff yeah. like that. I was like, wow. He he fought a really good fight, really smart fight. And and. You, I have to, you know, take my, 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 I have to take my head off to him and just congratulate. Him. He, he came, he came and he um, brawled with me, mm -hmm. but he took me down when he had to to yeah. get the, to get the points. To get so the points, right? He rocked me a couple of times, and those are the type of fights that I like. And, and Glover retained his respect for me. Yeah. I, like I don't respect a lot of fighters, but fighters like Glover is the, is uh, the reason why MMA has been so pop popular. Right. But then you get some of these other fighters and stuff like that who's like, for instance, like fighters like Chael Sonnen and like Ryan Bader and stuff like that, they, they, make, the, they make the sport go down because it's boring as hell. But, but Glover, like, I'm, now I'm a fan of his. I, I'm going to I'm going to watch him fight yeah. whenever 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 I know he's fighting. I'm like, oh, okay, Glover's fighting. I'll go and watch him. He's a good, he's a really good guy too. I yeah. mean, that's the thing. He's, a, he's very likable. It's you know yeah, it, he bangs. It, yeah, you can't yeah. Take, you can't take that away from it. But me, uh, like what I'm going to do, I I just got to buckle down and say, you know what? I, I wanted to go I wanted to go out on a victory mm -hmm. in the UFC and just throw the things on the tournament to feel like but you know what <laughs> right Dana Dana has been cool I'm telling you he, Dana, he hasn't said anything bad I know Dana has, been good. Dana has surprisingly been cool yeah. and stuff like that but it's a little bit too late for me now I'm, I'm like like what people don't understand like I'm a very understanding person I understand Dana I understand the UFC mm -hmm. they're looking out for their company and their, their company's best interest I understand that I got I'm not hey, you're no. looking out for you yeah that's all that's all yeah. thing and so you know what I'm saying yeah it's it's kind of it kind of sucks to, to go out on a loss because in America like they so big on winning or yeah. losing, but you know, what I'm saying like fans from all over the world, they they just know the true aspect of, of martial arts and the fight that oh, he went out on a very exciting fight. Mm -hmm. That's that I did my job. My sure. job was to entertain people, and I did that. Yeah. But America is like oh, he lost, he lost state, and they want to say how bad I suck because because I lost to this right. this young up and coming. Yeah, I was suck, say suck to guy. a guy who's really good. And it is. So you know, what I'm saying yeah, so I. I let that go. I let that go over my head yeah. because I, I don't. I don't really care about that anymore. But you know, I think that all I got to do is I, ha I do have a great team. I, ha I have some of the best coaches. My boxing is is constantly improving. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm, I'm since I'm a wrestler. I got man like man. I'm a wrestler. This Brazilian guy right. not gonna take me right, down. Right, right, right. I do my wrestling. There he goes. I do my wrestling. Cause I knew he was gonna try to take me yeah. down. I knew. I, I knew he wasn't gonna stand up with me. Yeah. But he stood over me more than I thought he was. Yeah. So it's like it's like when well, next time the next camp I have. I'm going to just go and reinvent myself and, and train like I used to train back in the day and do everything and go out there and have fun and not just yeah. try to box. Because I know it's now since I'm trying to knock people out, mm -hmm. I haven't knocked anybody out. Like when I knocked when Vanley out, for it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knocked Vanley out, I didn't try to knock him out. Yeah. When I, uh, when I knocked out Chuck Liddell, I didn't try to right. knock. I was just fighting him. When I knocked out uh, Marvin Eastman, I was just I was just fighting Dan Henderson. I tried to knock him <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, well. And I didn't knock him out. These yeah. people, I tried to knock him out. I, I didn't like Forrest. I was yeah. going to knock him Did out. Did you try to knock Leoto out? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess you probably were. Huh? Yeah, I was yeah. going to try to <laughs> knock them out. Right. And then my and my my coaches were telling me like, yeah. don't look for it, don't look for it, because right. they see it in, in sparring, even in sparring. Like sometimes, when, like they bring in guys that right. I don't really know, and they and they piss me off. They said, <laughs> we see you try to knock them out, you load them up, and you knock them out. And then some of my some yeah. of my teammates, I knock them out. I don't even try to, and I feel bad. Like, oh, right, right. Yeah, I feel bad. I don't even try to knock them out. I'm just throwing punches fast. So I just yeah. got to get that. Like whenever I try, I just go and try to knock the people out. No, so I had to, I had to go away from that. I have to just get away from all that and just go on and just try to put on exciting fights yeah. again. And me now that I've, I've, I've done something that I've never done in my career. I lost three fights in a row. Most people can either give up or, or, or you know, saying come back harder. Me, mm -hmm. I'm, I have no pressure. I'm just gonna go my next fight and just try to be exciting. If I lose, okay, okay, I lost. If, the, if, if an organization kicked me out, they don't want me to fight anymore because I'm constantly losing. Okay, I go, I go to, you know, I. I I go somewhere else. <laughs> I keep fighting. Well, there's always going to be people who who want to see you fight. And do you think? I mean, because because the other thing too is you know obviously you have life outside of the cage, and so fighters all the time bring bring their personal lives in there with them, and and that and that affects them too. I mean, is everything mm. else going okay? No, no, or it, no is everything it, no. else is cool. I no, mean, every no. Listen, everything is cool. Like I've trained, I prepared really hard for this fight. I was in really good shape. I'm yeah. telling you, like uh, Reebok gave me those ATV. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta get some. Too, yeah, you gotta get some. You like you like running? Listen, I, was I don't good. like running. And then when you said yeah, that, you said I run. hate running, but yeah. these make me don't mind running. Yeah, yeah like thinking. like I'll show you like some trails behind my yeah, house and stuff where where I like I'm like I'm gonna start running soon. I broke my toe. I broke my pinky toe. Yeah, soon as soon as fight. Yeah, as soon as I get my pinky toe. Bet I'm started back running and going. Right, because you didn't there. take much damage otherwise. There's some on your elbow. You have a little bit. Some on yeah, your yeah, eye, yeah. I didn't take. Didn't yeah, I didn't take. I didn't take that much damage. My yeah. elbow. My elbow was um, bothering me after the fight just a little bit, yeah. and my knee held up the whole fight. As soon as I got out of the cage, right, right, it started right. bothering me a little bit. But other than that, no, I didn't take. The, I didn't take that much. And damage. I will say this: there was a few of us who thought you were doing a rope a dope because you you. You know, you came out strong, then the second round it looked like you got a little tired, and then the third round you were back, and we were like, oh, he snap, he was just fooling that he was tired. No, it's, it, I was in, I was in you, great shape. But you could tell you were in good shape, that's I was what I'm in, saying. I was yeah. in great shape, but it's just like, uh, it was just like, when somebody would take you down, and, and mm -hmm. Glover's a big guy, yeah, he is. and you gotta get him up off you and stuff yeah. like that, it takes you a, a little while to recover, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I just, me watching, I watched the fight, I watched it once, and I said, oh yeah, I, I know exactly what, what I have to um, concentrate more on in yeah. training and stuff like that, because yeah, everybody's gonna try to take me down and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I can't take anything away from Glover. He he fought a good fight, yeah, like, yeah, I, I was, um, yeah, my body's beat up and stuff like that. Everybody know I pulled out of my, my I was supposed to fight him a long time because yeah. of injuries and stuff like that, and I just had knee surgery, stuff like that, but I made it to the fight. My yeah. body was good enough to, yeah. uh, to do the fight. Right. And. and and he. They look good. Somebody's at room service. Can, can you cut? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's she, not for nothing, but she sounds like your type. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not my, When people want to learn about me, I, I have so many different types. I, I just have to. I just had to clear this up. Well, I have so many different types. Yeah. As long as they're not fat. Oh, really? I'm you don't sorry. like a chunky woman? I don't like a chunky woman. I'm sorry. How big? How big is? How big? Where does the line get drawn for fat? What? How? Okay, if she got cellulite and rolls and stuff like that, yeah. she could be thick. If she got cellulites and rolls, then you know what I'm saying. She's not my type. No, because you know you can see very thin girls with cellulite, though. You know that it's not. It's, then it's, she's it's, not my type. <laughs> Okay, I don't like cottage cheese. I don't even eat cottage cheese. You're dairy free. I'm dairy. Well, I'm not dairy free, <laughs> right, right, but I don't right, like cottage don't cheese. Like but, I'm, but I'm not making fun of uh, overweight people because sometimes I get overweight. It's just like you know. When and I'm, your family? You said you got some big members of your family, right? Yeah. I, don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm not. I, you told me that before. Yeah. You said it. Yeah. Yeah, I got some. Well, if you're from Memphis, there's no yeah. way there's not some they large did, folk. They didn't start off large. I can no. tell you that. All right, they didn't start off large. But I'm just saying, like for me, my type, I like. Really good looking <laughs> women that's fit and like pretty hair and pretty eyes and <laughs> nice smile. But I'm just saying, I like yeah. all different types of women, so don't be making fun of me. No, <laughs> I just, 
I have to say, I love I, I love brunettes a lot and stuff like that. Yeah. I live okay. I live in Orange County. There's a yeah. lot of Asians and stuff there. If right. I li- if I lived in Florida or I mean in Miami or something like that, yeah, yeah. Cubans. You'd be yeah, all over I'd be that. I'd be all over the Latinas and different stuff like that. Right, right. I just like I just like exotic, whatever exotic to me. Right. And now this actually brings up something that that, and I'm sure were, were you aware of the petition um, to get you off the fight card in in uh, Chicago? Did you see that? No. Here's the thing, Quentin. I got this email. And it was um, from different women's groups around Chicago and different unions, and they were calling for you to get pulled off the card because of your history of, um, I don't want to use the word assault because they didn't use that. But you know what I mean. With the hump in with, the with, Yeah, with the, with the way you treated some of the reporters. And here this email comes to me, and we all know, by the way, our, 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 our video has like four something million views now, mm-hmm. our, which, is, mm-hmm. which is amazing mm-hmm. and crazy. But... They were trying to get you pulled off the card. And so then in response, um, they were calling for, I guess, the UFC to adopt really a more of a code of conduct. So I don't know if it's going to be called the Quentin Jackson code of conduct or how they're going to do. But did you ever even hear of that thing coming out? Uh, no, I heard yeah. something small. Like one of my friends said something, but I yeah. didn't know. It did, obviously it didn't work. <laughs> you know. Like, well, you know what? It's okay. It's so many different type of people in, in the world. Like some people will find negative and anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm dry humping reporters and stuff like that. I've I've haven't done it in a while, but it's right. like it's like I I didn't do it like uh, aggressively, and it's like uh, you know it's like it's funny. It's like it's comedy. Like like comedians can go and do and say anything they right, want. Right, right. They can go and do and say anything they want. Like some comedians go. So politically incorrect, and yeah. like racial and everything like that. Right, but right. As soon as a fighter do something, like wow, listen, people, just so you know, I'm a comedian pretending to be a fighter. <laughs> when you gonna realize that? That's what. That's all I am. I'm a comedian that that likes to go out there and fight. Yeah, yeah. That's all I am. Well, I hope that you get to keep doing it, and I and I. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna yeah. change. I can't change the way I am for anybody. I am gonna try to be more of a, a positive role model. Because we like a happy Quentin. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, a happy Quentin is. Yeah, I just like making people a hell laugh. Of a good time. I like making people laugh. But you know what? You you can't make every. Some people don't have a good sense of humor, and some people are very negative. They want to find anything, and and I can tell. Like sometimes, I'm gonna tell you, I'm from the south, mm-hmm. and sometimes people think they're like, oh, he shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? He sh- he shouldn't be. They are not gonna be happy with anything I do. Right, right. Some people are not gonna be happy with anything I do. They want to find something like oh oh he 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 shouldn't be doing that. But listen, I'm a human being, yeah. and I have a sense of humor, and I happen to know this that, and this is real talk that that my heavenly Father mm-hmm. has a sense of humor, and so He made us in His image, so He has a sense of humor, and I have a sense of humor, and so as long as it, long even though it's like. Maybe it's humping and stuff like that. It's sexual, but if you think about it, we are sex. Yeah. We got here from sex. Right. It's the most natural thing out there. Animals have sex. Right. I've seen animals hump reporters. <laughs> you gonna, you know what I'm saying? Stop. Right. You gonna get mad at that animal for humping? I've, seen, you know, I got humped on the foot the other day by an animal. If I would have been a reporter, I would have been <laughs> reporting by this animal humping me on my foot. You know what I'm saying? Like. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's, you're it's, saying. and it's funny. <laughs> it is so funny. Like, just laugh. Don't get mad. Like, okay, if the girl get, if the girl right. that I hump gets mad and stuff like that, right. okay. Well, you I know, but that. that's what I was gonna say. People gave me grief for not being mad at you. I, I didn't even touch you. That's what I'm saying, people. Yeah. And but I, but it, but but you wouldn't believe how much flack I got for not standing up for women, for not doing this and that, and for the fact that I found you funny. Okay, one thing I have to know about women is that, okay, what woman does not like attention from men? If women didn't want attention and stuff from men, they wouldn't spend all this money on beauty salons and hair and makeup and nails and stuff like that. So, I'm not talking bad about women and stuff like that, but I'm guessing that most of women that are complaining stuff about that probably don't get that much attention from men and they're hating. It's all roots back down to hating on stuff a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Like, if you want to, it, it, listen, I guarantee you that, you know what I'm saying, it, the world will be a, a more boring place if men didn't, like, flirt with women mm-hmm. and be a lot less children been born. Like, we have to do that. We make people laugh. And yes, I did, like, insinuate a motorboat on Karen. Yes, I did that. I, am, I apologize to all the ladies who think that's wrong, but 
it was done in 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 in, in, in all positively a good a good you know funny way. I I didn't think nothing bad. I didn't really motivate her. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, you know I just think that women should lighten up. This is life. You know what I'm saying? Just. Yeah. Just laugh, have fun, be positive. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is a MMA sport. It's like this, we're not golfers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're not. Although tennis. Tiger's Tiger's getting it done though, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> listen, I'm not saying Ti- Tiger's personal life has nothing to do with yeah, him playing golf. Of course not. You got no, I, like if Tiger if Tiger want to cheat on his wife, like stuff like that. See, look, I don't I don't condone that. You know, when I was married, I never cheated on my wife. But I'm not judging people. Right. I was only married a year. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I've been married longer. Who knows what would have happened? But like I'm saying, I probably wouldn't have. Right. I probably wouldn't have. But I'm just saying. Right. And it got nothing to do with. I got. I'm not gonna look at him differently as a golf player. Yeah, yeah. And this is what's wrong with America today. They two couple of the nigga like the media all focus on Kim Kardashian and her getting pregnant by Kanye West. Who cares? Right. Who cares? Like people get pregnant and stuff all the time. We uh, we caught up on on too much on the wrong things when we got when we got this a setting the hook thing going on where now we got information where the whole thing could have been fixed, could have been fake. But then our minds, we're not on that. Like people trying to take our gun stuff away. What's the big picture? Why are why they trying to take guns away from us? Is something going to go down? Mm-hmm. Something going to happen? Why they don't want us to have guns or something now? And they faking stuff over here. But no, we're not worried about that. We worried about what's going on with Kim Kardashian yeah. and, 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 and Kanye West. And we worry about like too much on the wrong things in America, and I'm not a part of that. What I do is, you know, what I'm saying I think that um, laughter is a, a great way of, for people to be positive and, mm-hmm. and 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 stay healthy and stuff like that. And my fans, the people that watch me and stuff, I want to make them laugh. I want to keep them smiling. Yeah. Like sometimes fans uh, tweet me and they and they. See me like, man, I was having a bad day until I saw right, your interview. Right, right, right. That? That's what it's for. That's yes, exactly. And so, but then, like, you get a few people that's going to be negative, and maybe they might be evil people. Maybe, they, maybe they're not like. Maybe they may right. not like me for yeah. whatever reason. They don't like me. They want to have some negative say, and I got no time for them. No. So if they can, they can get me. They can try to get me pulled off cards and stuff in Chicago. I've been okay because I didn't want to fight in cold ass Chicago anyway. <laughs> it was cold, right? Yeah. So you know, I love Chicago. Yeah. You know, so I love the fans up there, but. If those ladies would got me pulled up their car in Chicago, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll go fight in Vegas. Yes, I'll go fight in Vegas. Yeah. I'll run the Cali card yeah. in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been you know? cool. Like, okay, y'all would have done me a favor. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, Quentin, and it's very warm in here, which I like. I like oh, it. Because, yeah, you, you know, know the, the, I, I got the yeah. warm tropical buds, yeah, so yeah. I got to have the warmth. I got to have the warmth. I got to have, I gotta have the warmth. I can't just be sitting around all shivering. And, no, no, no. And t- I, can't, I don't see how people do it. Like, I don't know. I don't see how people do it. But I, I trained in the U.K. for this fight, and... Um, and uh, my team, we got the new gym because our old gym burned down. I know, yeah, no, yeah. I know, I know. So we got a new gym at the at the um, Total Fitness and Witness and so. Yeah. And some days it's cold there, right? Yeah. Cold as hell, right? Some days I go in the gym and the AC on. I'm like, like how y'all expect for me to train and get motivated? Right. Everybody know I hate training. Yeah. I train hard. Don't get me wrong, I train hard, but I hate training with a passion. That is my yeah. personal hell. Training camps are my personal hell. Yeah. And so I walk into the gym and the AC on and it's cold outside. I'm like, what? That's not good. That's not good. Like, I could have, I could have trained, I could have stayed in my. I got my own gym and and yeah, where's the warm, right? Yeah, I can turn the heat up. By the way, we still have those Rampage stickers. We, kept, uh, we went down there one time and he just covered our car in Rampage. Stickers. My, I had one on my water bottle for the longest time too, but but the the thing broke, so I need to get uh, yeah. some more. I got a couple. Left. You'll come back down to the gym sometime and train train. Yeah, I want to I want to train with you. And when Dave Jackson's in town, your Muay Thai guy, your yeah. striking coach, when he's there, I want to mix it yeah. up because it'd be really fun. Yeah, you guys are always welcome to come fun. down. I let you guys come and see me um, working out, and I'll show you like I'm not just doing boxing and stuff anymore. Yeah. I'm 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 going to keep up my boxing because I really like boxing. Yeah. And and I, I like my head movements and stuff in the fights and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to work a lot on everything. I'm, I'm going to get my jiu-jitsu a little bit better because I, I kept training jiu-jitsu a lot because Glover is a great black yeah. belt. And so I'm starting to like jiu-jitsu a little bit I know bit a more. guy to introduce you to. Uh, he I used got, to be Hoist's training partner. Well, I'm telling you, I, I, got, guys, I, got, right? I, got, I got a great, my, my jiu-jitsu coach, my, my coach is great, but I just yeah. never liked it. Right. I, just, I don't like a bunch, I don't like a sweaty guy laying on top of me. <laughs> I so. knew that was coming. Come on, I just, I I just, I'm a wrestler I, too, but, right, but, wrestling, still, but jiu-jitsu, is get, you get kind of up close and personal Yeah, there's sometimes. some angles that are a little. A couple, like north-south position, <laughs> I'm like, I just tap out as soon as I get put in that position, I'm like. I just okay, man. You got me, dog. Okay, I just t- I just tap out. Like yeah. it's it's a couple of things. Like when they they got to go for the Camaro and they sitting right there on your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. You got nuts like right there on your face. 
Like, how do you not tap out from that? Like, okay, in a fight, I man up, I'd be like, oh, I'd be pushing, but in training, I'm like, okay, okay, you got me, dog. Just, okay, just get off me. Just get your nuts away from me. You know what I'm saying? Jiu Jitsu is kind of like up close and personal. So I never, I never liked it. So what I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to invent. I had to have rash guards and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to invent like some type of helmet, some <laughs> rash guard face. So, like, it's, 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 it's just like a mental thing that's like I get, I don't I don't just have nuts like directly on my face because I'm I'm 100 heterosexual guy. It's just yeah. some things just not right. Not yeah. And don't so, they say it's only it's only questionable if you make eye contact? That's right? what they. That's but I, but me, I don't give. I don't care. It's like you got nuts on your face. You got nuts on your face. I don't care if the guy trying to tap you. He trying to break your arm. He trying to do whatever. But in, in, in the meanwhile, you still got nuts on your face. And you know, some people just shouldn't have nuts on their face. And I raise my hand. I'm one of those people. Come, come on now. You like you like dragons? I don't. Where, where is this going? Did I just ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Good, cause later I'm gonna be dragging my balls across your face. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> That is so bad. You're about to feel my jab over here. Yeah, that, that, I gave, I gave oh the ladies, I gave ladies something else to God. complain about. Now oh. y'all can go complain about that joke. It's very yeah. funny. <laughs> Do you like dragons? Zombie <laughs> dragons. At any rate, Quentin, it's always fun to see you. You Me know, too. you know, you know, you're just, you know. One of the greats here, and thank and, you, uh, thank you. and I, I, you know, I wish you the most success in any, uh, in any, and everything. Thanks. And um, honestly, you've been so good for so long. And anybody that now, may, you know, I think some of the people that are bagging on you, they may be they're 15 years old and they never oh, saw anything. Yeah, like that I, you know, I, I mean, because there's no way you can't appreciate what you've done. I don't care about those people. Like those people can never get in the cage and do what I do. Right. Like you know, I'm not I'm not tripping over there because they they say all crazy stuff on the computer and stuff like that. But soon they see me, they act all like little girls and they want a picture and they want to they want to hug up on me and get an autograph and stuff like that. But they be the main folks talking bad about me on the internet. I so I I don't care. Like they, they would never step a foot in that cage. They would never go through a 13 week or eight week training camp mm -hmm. and, and 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 train like like six hours a day. They will never do that. Yeah. All they can do is what they do now, talk bad. But I just want to let my fans know, like, hey, you know, I, I, all these years, I try to give you guys, like, the uh, most exciting fights. I want to be known as one of the most exciting fighters they ever um, stepped in the, in, the, in, the, in the cage. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the dying breeds of the old fighters, you know what I'm saying? Not many of, of, of us left. I'm come, I'm come, you know what I'm saying, from that era where we all fading out and stuff now because you got the younger guys coming in and they, 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 they come up knowing all – all different martial arts at one time. They come up already good at the ground, wrestling and striking and stuff like that. I'm a wrestler who who, who went to striking and stuff like that. And it's just like, you know, I've, I've been in the sport for 13 years and you only have like a, um, uh, you only have like a, a, a time limit to, to shine in this sport. So I'm okay with that. I know, I know, I know what's up. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a realist, you know what I'm saying? But I, I still think I got a lot of fight in me because that's the type of person I am, you know what I'm saying? I still think I can put on exciting fights. And uh, I don't know what organization I'm going to yet because contractual, I'm not allowed to even negotiate for 28 more days, maybe like 27 more mm -hmm. days now. So as soon as I, I know where I'm going, and if you guys are interested in, in still watching me fight, and I, I, would, I would tweet as soon as I find out. Uh, you can follow me at Rampage number four real, and I let the world know. And and or maybe Karen come back and do another interview, and I can talk about where I'm going. Uh, okay. uh, I don't know, but you know, so my heart is still with uh, MMA because come on, I don't want I don't want my last MMA fight to to be a loss like yeah. that. I want to come back on my last. M M I want when I do retire from MMA, I want to retire like me kicking a few asses before mm -hmm. I leave, you know, and in yeah. and, and a certain man, uh, fashion and show people like you know what I'm not one dimensional no more because now. I got my head up out my ass. I'm I'm done with just trying to box everybody because yeah. people are going to take me down. And I got to do everything. It's mixed martial arts. I got to be able to do everything just like I, I used to do back in the day. Well, right now, I think you got some lunch to take down. I think it came and yeah. it's going to go. Well, thank you. You're welcome.